In this very short tutorial, I will show you how to add a table into your Apple Pages document. Here I am on the desktop version on my MacBook. After you start a new document, at the very top, you should be able to see a table tool. So this dedicated tool, just click on it, and then they give you some uh, default settings for some tables. But the safest bet is always to create a blank one. So that's th this one here. The white one and this, this will give you the table without any headers or highlighted columns all right so with this table we can modify the numbers of columns so a b c d that column so we can drag this button at the end those two lines push this in or pull it out or simply put the number here so five six seven eight eight columns or we can reduce that number to three columns and the very same things with rows we got this guy here when we can reduce number of rows or add more rows don't forget you can change that in the table section on the right side keep in mind there are several sections now table cell text arrangement if you cannot see the table section means you didn't select your table so go inside the table click on the table again you will see it table that's the first tab on the right side in the format and then you can set up headers for your table so we got first column as the header column or header row like that we can pick a quick style if you prefer to modify the header colors or you can create your own style all right, let's stick with the green for now. We can also create a bottom footer row at the here. Very handy when you make some kind of calculation and summary at the bottom of the table. All right, table font size can be controlled as well for those quick buttons. So let's just type a text here. And now using those two buttons, we can increase the size or decrease the size. Keep in mind, you can control all of the text settings if you select your table and then go to the text format menu here. You can change the font and the size of it from here as in any regular aspect of Apple Pages. But let's back to the table settings. We got rows and columns again. So we can modify this number from here as well. Keep in mind, I cannot reduce the number of rows. Why? Because the row 13 is not empty. So we cannot delete rows if they are already occupied with text. All right, there's also a table outline. So we got a straight line, we got color for the line and how thick the line is. That's the line outside around the table. You can modify your grid lines switching them on or turning them on again alternative row colors can you see the row number two is white but row number three is gray and then again white and gray you can switch this off and on right here you can even decide what should be the alternative color if you want to standardize uh, height for your rows and columns width for your columns you can do it from here or you can ask the program to fit them to the content. If you already got the text in, you can fit it nicely. And that's how you can insert a table and modify some basic properties of the table in Apple Pages. Keep in mind, there's a table tool at the top over here. This will add a default table, but we can easily modify the number of columns and rows and customize the text and the style for the table. What if you want to change only the style for one cell? In that case, don't forget to move to the cell section from the table section. Now I'm in the cell section and I'm customizing this cell. So now I can even add a fill color to it or customize the border of that cell as well. So we can customize it cell by cell, row by row. We can select several cells and make some custom changes to it. Alright, I hope this short tutorial was helpful. 
See you in the next Apple Pages tutorial.